I'm just thinking about you know being here now in the studio. I mean, really at this time we're in May 2020, and I'm just uh, been working solidly here in March, April, May, uh, coming on for about 12 weeks of um, production, and uh, just really I plan to be here at this time, uh, working because the wonderful thing about the studio is the is the light that comes in from the uh, high windows that are on all four sides of the building and um, at this time of year it's it's obviously really good and so that, in that respect the, the lockdown has been kind of uh, uh, as per normal but in, in some ways it, the isolation is slightly slightly different I think for me the major thing having worked on international projects for the past three years there's a kind of slow realisation that that is going to come to an end or has, has ended uh, for I think quite a long time. I don't think it's going to get back to normal. So I've been in the studio building on the work done in the residences and really driving uh, for a different kind of painting language, moving away from the geometry, the hard edged paintings that I'd have arrived at and have talked about quite a lot with regard to colour and its application and moving away to a much a much freer way of working um, because really I think there was a, an element of the application of the paint that one felt that one wanted was missing out on or that wasn't there that I just wanted to capitalise on even more uh, but these, I mean, these ones, these on the big boards I've just put up, I've been a, I worked on the floor, and of course one leaves them to dry on the floor, and one of the first things I do in the, when I get into the studio is to move everything about, so it doesn't look like it did when I went, when I left previously. And of these, of, I mean, putting these up against the wall like this, I mean, of course, makes, it, it makes them immediately pictorial. Uh, rather than kind of floor based. And, um, um, of course, working on the floor, you're working from all four sides on each work, so there is the decision. I mean, these have just been put up on the side, but which way up they go uh, uh, has yet to be decided or worked on. That comes through with, through the making of the paintings. Leave as much space in them as possible, light and space. So I've been using the fluorescence that I often use to start off with, but also some lighter colours and and very uh, with the acrylic very much thin down paint, so you do get the transparency, even with an opaque colour. You know to see what's happened with the drawings here on the edges, but in actual fact, I mean just on this one here, uh, the the gum strip is kind of part of it. I mean, it's the, the sort of torn edges. It's actually worked quite well. Whether or not it works on the colour ones, uh, I, I don't know. I yeah, so to I mean, find with out. these ones, I mean, these are individual ones on the MDF boards here, which which are drawn out. I mean, I, I do actually give myself a, quite a big perimeter here, and you can see that. I mean, that's, that does make you know quite a difference. So. The final result is like this one here, uh, as you can see, one, probably one of the more <clears throat> successful ones. Uh, and that, I mean, this, 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 uh, these, these will be cut down. But as you can see, there's, there's quite a wide, uh, what we call margin uh, for these. So that's, that sort of sorts that out. But on these bigger ones here, on this... Um, you know, these kind of multiple ones, I mean, they're multiple images. I mean, I always work in series anyway. And, uh, I mean, for here, it's a little bit more complicated. These have to be cut out. What I'll do about these edges, I'm not quite sure. But these have got a long way to go. I mean, these are very much experimental line of works. And I'm just seeing how I go with them. I'm reasonably pleased with where they're going, I guess.